Bus Class, it's Miss Lily. Today is Thursday, and as I told you yesterday, we're going to talk about the tide. I want you to look where I'm standing. This morning when I got up, the water was up to here. But Mr. Ted is going to pan, and I want you to look and see where the water is now. Way down there. What that is, that's showing you what the tide does. Now, you know that a tide water comes in and water goes out, but what causes that? That is caused by the moon. And what about the moon? It's the gravitational pull that the moon has on these waters. But you know when it's high tide here, on the other side of the earth, it's low tide because that gravity is pulling the water to one side. Well, when it's up high here, it's going to be low, on the, clear on the other side of the earth. Now there's gravity also caused come, that comes from the sun. And there's gravity that we have on earth. If it weren't for gravity, I'd be floating up. When I throw a ball up in the air, what happens? It comes right back down because of gravity. Well, the moon has gravity, the sun has gravity, and all that affects the tides. Now, I have one question for you. I want you guys to research this. There's certain things called the spring tide and the neap tide, N-E-A-P. I want you to see if you can find out what that is. I hope you're having a great day. I miss you. I'll talk to you tomorrow, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.